kiteboarding, it's such a nice sport. Riding in the warm turquoise water of the Caribbean Sea, seeing the colorful world under your feet, amazing islands with white sand littered with palm trees, what a dream. Sadly, it's not always like that. Ruben Lenten from Holland is the number one storm rocker in the world, handling the roughest conditions easily. Throwing out hard and high loops and being as radical as possible is what he is known for. But even a crazy Dutch guy like him had to start his career somewhere. Uh, I started with kiteboarding. Like I always used to live close to the beach with my parents, and then I was always like in the sea playing around with my friends and flying little kites on the beach. And then I actually saw some guys further up the beach with like big kites. And me and my friends, we ran there and we're like, holy shit, what is this? And then I told that to my dad the same evening. And then like a week later, I had a kite from my dad and my mom. And I just started kiteboarding. And it took me like three or four months while I got going properly, so. <laughs> Uh, my fascination of the sport, why I fell in love with it is that it's non-stop action. The kite just keeps on pulling on you, you can do whatever you want, like, it's never a stop, you know? And I can let go all my energy and feelings on it when I'm out in the nature, on the ocean, just like surviving and doing big tricks, and that's what I really enjoy, you know? When nobody's on the water, when it's full power wind, I will go out and just go nuts. <laughs> Ruben started his competition career early after only one year of riding. After three years of kiting, in 2004, he was already among the top three in the world ranking. But then a serious injury forced him to stay away from the sport for a while and Ruben had to think about what was really crucial for him. Competitions lost their importance and from that point on he just enjoyed himself and his life in the water. Getting more and more known as the most radical rider on the planet through movies. I'm a really competitive person, but over the years I kind of lost interest in the competition riding because the scene was changing a little bit and the tricks were getting more technical and that's not really my style. I just enjoy to go big and yeah, go crazy and that's not really possible inside a competition area box. Without riding contests, Ruben has more time to concentrate on other things. products I make with my sponsors like two years ago Slingshot gave me the opportunity to get my own pro model board and yeah I've worked on a shape with John Doyle it, uh, it's called the Lunacy and yeah the board has been selling pretty good for the past few years and with Mystic they also gave me the opportunity to make my own clothes with Lent 10 and yeah when it's Lent 10 on there you know it's tested to the max. <laughs> Maybe the competition scene will never get him back and Ruben will still just push himself to the limit, having fun traveling and developing products with his sponsors. Today, kiteboarding has reached a point where nearly everybody can learn and enjoy as much as he does every day. Like in the past 10 years, skyboarding has progressed a whole lot, like equipment got a lot safer and it's a little bit easier for people to get into the, into the sport because uh, the, yeah, the material is just so much more performed and progressed that it's uh, super safe for everybody to try out. Enjoy life till the max, you know. I just want to make people smile and see them enjoy life.